with many root issues, we never know what our outcome is going to be until we're deep into it. This is such a case. We have a large root from a ginkgo biloba over here. We're about 15 feet from the trunk. Pretty substantial, important landscape tree to this yard. The roots have lifted and buckled the patio. And in this particular case, our only remedy may be to cut this large root. We, we don't like this option, but it might be the only one open to us. We have a drain line that comes through over here. The root is interfering with that. The root is interfering with the swinging of these doors by lifting the decking, which has all been removed. The roots of the tree broke the planter in which it was planted, and the stonework has been reconstructed and renewed. These roots were between the septic tank and the patio pavers. And so finally, there was nowhere for those roots to go. As they grew and expanded and, and swelled, they came up and lifted the deck. So in the case here, we may just have to prune this root out of the landscape here. It's just one good-sized root. So this, in fact, is maybe our only option left open to us. We're going to look for the smallest possible excision where we can make a cut clean and square to the root, treat the end grain with our orange oil beeswax, and backfill this in and see if we can't prep it for the new patio. The root cutting in this case was necessary. We had to cut one fairly substantial root. But since the tree's root system is very extensive, we feel that losing this one root is not going to be a, a death wound for the tree. We're at least 15 feet from the trunk, and the wound, even though it is large, is within the capability of the tree to cope with. We did treat the end grain, we did what we could for it, we were not able to bring the root down deep enough below grade to eliminate its influence. So we did have to finally cut that one root. But in fact, it was only one root, one substantial root. And we feel that this root cutting was necessary. We're going to follow up on this ginkgo and examine the tree's response to this root cut.